Today we have a technical video. We will speak about radio Simrad RS35. This radio is not really, really brand new, uh, but it's uh, quite fresh. Today we will try to uh, find the problem with uh, our radio. And I will explain you how to connect uh, that handy device to radio, how to reset your MMSI and program it and save you 25 bucks or maybe even 50 because usually you have to send your radio to service and they will reprogram you new MMSI but I will explain you how to do it uh, by yourself. Are you ready? Let's go! Our radio Simrad RS35 it's exactly the same like BNG V50 and Lawrence Link 8. So it is exactly the same radio and all furniture like cables and everything like spare parts will be exactly the same for all this radio. Okay, let's go and speak about Simrad RS35. Regular marine radio with um, MMSI so you can use it uh, in case of emergency, press and distress and whatever. It has AIS, so which is a uh, I don't know who use it. Maybe just in case if you have only one radio for navigation and use AIS there. For me, it is a little bit strange, but anyway, it has a remote control which is uh, connected with a Bluetooth technology to main unit, and it could work like intercom between uh, main unit and handset, and you can use it like. Uh, uh, separate radio but with a uh, good power like 25 watts which is a uh, regular power for a uh, regular marine radio so you press button on your handset and you can use a full power of your main unit big problem of this radio is a cable quality maybe because of uh, uv maybe some other reason cable could be broken quite fast and you need to replace it uh, but it's not so easy because the price of uh, this uh, cable is a 200 US dollar if you compare it with the price of used radio like 250 to 400 new I think it's not a fair price the new version of our Simrad RS35 is a Simrad RS40 with a some minor improvements and a little bit different design it was uh, some software errors in the uh, rs35 for example if you use a fog horn you cannot use an intercom you can use it just as a fog horn which is absolutely incorrect in terms of emergency you need to get some information you need to say something in the radio but you can use it just only as a fog horn on the back side of your radio there are many different cables like a power supply and mere antenna cables external microphone uh, whatever just check your manual now i show you how to open your radio you need to unscrew six bolts it's very important uh, to take it out and after you need to press uh, the radiator in the back and lift your cover up if you cannot do it just use more power because it's very easy and there are no uh, really much information how to open it after you just take out the protection and uh, let's check a power supply so i think the problem is in a power supply and a module uh, for that we will use a dermatoscope it is a just regular microscope you check your skin if you need to send it to your doctor to the dermatologist uh, you fix it on your telephone uh, it is a very convenient device which you can use it uh, for your medical purposes you can check your electronics and what we can see now uh, it is a voltage regulator uh, which is a uh, damage it so uh, the problem why we cannot switch on the radio is uh, we have no power supply on it guys you see it is a not really big problem in this radio but unfortunately here in Panama it's very difficult to buy parts it's possible to buy but it's no guarantee result we have no time for it maybe in the future I try to fix this radio when we have a good access to all the parts so I'll put it some somewhere for a storage for some time and maybe in the future I try to fix it 
uh, and uh, return to life back. Go to eBay, we found uh, exactly the same radio used one for 300 USD and uh, we ordered it and uh, just <laughs> that's why I will explain you how to change all the MMSI and other stuff on this radio. First time we turning our radio on, so just turn our volume wheel. Oh, it start to scream because we switch it on for the first time, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, we have our handset. Uh, let's turn it on. You see now searching. Going to main unit menu and just scroll down and uh, press a wireless handset and press button on uh, subscribe. Yes and waiting so now we are ready for pairing with the main unit that's it now uh, on our uh, handset when it start to indicate searching you need uh, press for a few seconds button scan and voila we are pair it our device you can see successful and uh, exactly the same information we have on a handset it's very easy to use this radio. You just change the channels and uh, squelch. It is exactly like in a, all the radios you can use. It is a volume wheel and uh, at the end you can switch on and switch off the radio. Now you can see USA uh, indication on this radio. What is the difference? When you press the weather button, so it's a WX, you go to special channels which transmit the weather forecast but it works only in united states oh i'm sorry in canada also you can use this service but in the rest of this world you will not get any information on the weather channels if you're not in united states you will have a alert sign in your screen and it could beep all the time so in this case you go to menu and choose uh, international so you will not get any weather forecast but other, on the other hand you will not have any alert if you don't use this service after you go to menu and choose uh, weather forecast alerts and switch it off as well if you use this radio not only as a radio but also as an AIS receiver if you don't have a normal chart plotter on your boat uh, maybe it is uh, convenient to have information about the vessels which is uh, around but if you use a regular chart plotter in a boat you can get all the information on your chart plotter which is a uh, much much more convenient so i have no idea why you need this in a radio i would prefer to install uh, ais receiver and transmitter and use it but anyway you can use this function on this radio in case you don't have a, a receiver so you can use your radio for these purposes now let's speak about changing mmsi number so uh first of all you need to understand if you use a new radio when you switch it on uh, uh, the radio will ask you to input your MMSI number. If you use a use it radio, probably it's already was programmed for somebody other's MMSI, and uh, you can easily change it. So go to menu and check if you have it or not in uh, program it in your radio. If old MMSI already was programmed, you need to make reset for it. So press IX scan in menu and switch the radio on and you will have access to service menu. So it's quite easy. With a big wheel, you need to input your pin code 7100. And after this, you will have access to service menu. There are no big uh, choices <laughs> you can use in a menu. So just make a reset of your MMSI number and uh, or some other options you can see in this menu. But what we need now is just to make new MMSI. So just press a clear MMSI number. Also, we can make a full reset of this radio, so let's now turn it off and turn it on. And you can see it start to scream because DSC is disabled, so because we don't have a MMSI number programmed in our radio.
Now you need just to open your board documents and find your MMSI number and with a big wheel you need to input your MMSI number in your radio and uh, when you finish it just to press store and it will ask you to repeat it one more time to it should match so you just uh, start and uh, do it one more time again and if you made no mistakes so if it is match store so that's it uh, your mmsi number program it in your radio and now you can use distress button and now you are with your mmsi number in your radio so guys now you know how to reprogram that perfect radio by yourself and save 25 to 50 usd not to dismount this radio to send it to service uh, now you can do it by yourself and uh, you know how to operate and how to connect uh, handy device and uh, how to use AIS, what's the difference between American and European radios. Uh, so, see you next video, but don't forget to subscribe, write comment, it's very important, and of course, likes. See you, bye bye.